Vaccination is accelerating in Wisconsin this week with the arrival of 48,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. They're all really, really good. The president of the Medical College of Wisconsin says because the vaccine trials were at different places and times, it's hard to make a fair comparison yet. All the vaccines are highly effective and the differences in reported efficacy really should not be compared to each other. And that especially applies to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It is a good vaccine. It's why the state of Wisconsin is using the first J&J &J allocation to bulk up the vaccinations of teachers. We really want to get our educators and our child care workers vaccinated, so we're going to prioritize them for Johnson & Johnson, while at the same time we're distributing um, the rest of the vaccine to all 72 counties of the state. The effectiveness of Johnson & Johnson is still 72% in the U.S. That's three out of four chance of avoiding symptomatic COVID. That's a, that's a, that's a great rate that, that this is a tremendous vaccine. Dr. William Hartman at the UW Madison Medical School agrees that the new vaccine is equal to the others already in use. Nobody who's been vaccinated has died. Uh, that's an extremely important endpoint because that's what we're hoping to avoid is people dying from COVID-19. Nick joining us again. Now the state isn't saying exactly where in the state the Johnson and Johnson vaccine is headed. Right, Toy, only that it'll be used to vaccinate educators. We did check with the Milwaukee Health Department. They tell us they are not expecting any of that Johnson & Johnson vaccine, at least this week.